Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the financial awareness for the month of May 2024. So very important for IBPS, RRB, Scale 2 and Scale 3 exams. Jitne bhi pure month ke aapke financial awareness ke questions hai, including the RBA circulars, we are doing that today itself, right? So let's start the session. Uh, IBPS RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 2024 course is available on bankexamstudy.com. Links are available in the description. So in this course, we are covering the entire syllabus with the help of video classes, notes, live sessions, and the quizzes, right? So let's start the session without delaying. Here is a question number one. As per the latest RBI guidelines, RBI circular, what is the maturity period of floating rate bonds? Give me the answer. So as per the RBI guidelines, the maturity period is seven years. Seven years is the maturity period for floating rate bonds. As per the RBI guidelines, please remember that. Kaafi lamba jada circular hai, lekin important factor bas yehi hai ki seven years ka maturity period decide hua hai, right? And what is the significant change uh, by the SEBI? SEBI actually made a significant change uh, to the investment norms for non-resident in Indians, NRIs and overseas citizens of India. So what is that change? They are now allowed to own up to 100% in global funds set up at Gujarat gift city. Okay. So gift city ke jo, uh, global funds hai, they can invest 100% NRIs in uh, the overseas citizens of India. So important fact, the question is not well framed, but the this point is very important question with an acha frame nahi hai, lekin that's what it is it was capped at 50 percent in the past but now that cap has been removed why did the rbi cancel the license of ace money india due to the violation uh, due to the irregular lending practices and violation of rbi guidelines not that important with important hai nahi. RBI recently released updated guidance note on operational risk management and operational resilience. What is the purpose to introduce entirely new regulations for the banking sector? Not that important. What is the aim of partnership between NPCI and NPCI International Payments Limited and Bank of Namibia? So the NPCI is going to build a platform similar to UPI for Namibia, right? So that is the goal and this is important. This question is important. Star question. What is the purpose of the integrated pensioners portal also known as Bhavishya portal? So please remember the name Bhavishya portal. Point number one, it is for pensioners. Point number two, integrated pensioners portal. So what is the purpose to streamline and simplify various pension related services for retired government employees? Now that is a star question, important question, Bhavishya portal. So streamline and simplify various pension related services for the government employees. So please remember that very important question hai. Bhavishya portal. So what is the coverage system? So coverage system to prevent train collisions and enhance safety in the past few months back, there was a train collision, right? At that time, coverage system was all over the newspapers and the news websites and news channels, right? That is why we are doing this question. What is coverage system? What is the purpose of recent amendments to the SEBI uh, mutual fund guidelines 1996, right? to curb the fraudulent practices in mutual funds. There has there had been frauds in the mutual funds in the recent past. Excess mutual fund did some frauds, right? Front running cases were there. What is front running? Ye ek important concept nickel ke I have front running. Very, very important for you. My rating is not that great. For example, you give your money to mutual funds, right? You have given your money to mutual funds. Every month you are giving some money to the mutual funds, right? Especially in the small cap, what that fund is doing, they are the, the managers, the fund managers. What the fund managers are doing before buying the shares for the fund, they are doing it for themselves because when uh, the fund is buying the shares in the market, the fund is going to buy, let's say 500 crore ke share, particular share, the stock price is going to go up and they are going to make money from that. So that is uh, front running before buying the shares for the before taking the position for the mutual fund, the fund managers is taking the position in his 
personal capacities right so he is making money out of it there is conflict of interest what are the new rules uh, according to the new rules what is the maximum risk banks can take in the stock market in a day 30 percent so th this is an rbi guideline this question is not well framed in the next slides i guess question number 35 or 36 i are you uh, i've done this question again so that is important but anyways 30 percent is a maximum risk a bank a clearing bank can take okay what tasks are delegated to research analyst and investment advisory supervisory bodies and investment advisory advisor supervisory bodies so for research analyst and investment analyst ias and ra separate body has been framed and the goal is initial application scrutiny and supervision separate boards have been made okay for that India's rank in World Press Freedom Index is 159, kind of important. Which country is the country coordinator of uh, India for Asian-India dialogue relations, right? So coordinator country is Singapore. And you should also know the part of Asian countries, right? So Asian, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, uh, 10 Southeast countries, uh, Southeast Asian countries are there. Brunei, uh, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. These are the 10 Southeast Asian nations, right? <clears throat> and Singapore is the country coordinator for India. What is the response? Uh, who is responsible for verifying merchant details? For Bheem Aadhaar Pay, according to the new guidelines by NPCI, the banks acquiring member banks are actually uh, responsible for verifying the merchant details. What is the deadline for ad uh, investment advisors to submit their periodic report for the half year uh, half year ended on 31st of March 2024 15 days from the date of issuance of the circular they need to submit the reports right half yearly report submit karni hai. India's largest trading partner in 2023-2024 is China. China is the largest trading partner and there is a lot of deficit trade deficit here. India impo imports a lot more than it exports, right? Total trade volume is $118.4 billion. Who has been appointed as the new executive director of the RBI effective from 10th of May 2024? So who's the new... Uh, Executive Director, uh, Shri R. Lakshmi Kanthrao is the new Executive Director. And what is the aim of Drone Didi Yojana to train 15,000 women to operate drones for agricultural purposes? And which Indian company signed the deal with Port and Maritime Organization of Iran for operation of Chabar Port? It is Indian Ports and Global Limited IPGL kind of important question. Which bank, became, which bank became the first to join the India International Bullion Exchange as a trading come clearing member that is SPI. What is the new method for calculating the market capitalization? Market capitalization of the companies will be calculated according to the average market capitalization over a defined period. In the past, it was calculated by the uh, the closing price right it was calculated uh, on the single days closing price but now it is it will be calculated on average market capitalization over a defined period it is important how many independent directors must be on the board of a insurer according to the new IRDAI regulations three three independent directors should be there what is the name of platform recently launched by RBI to facilitate regulatory approvals for the individuals and entities? So RBI made a separate platform, Prava, right? And there you can get uh, approvals. Uh, the individuals can get their approvals on their uh, on the Prava app, right? So they made it simple. Under the Foreign Exchange Management uh, Regulations, Deposit Fourth Amendment. Which of the following non-resident can open non-interest bearing accounts in India if you entered into a derivative contract for the margin payments you can open an interest bearing account a non-resident who is dealing in derivatives right 
according to the RBI guidelines, which bank can issue irrevocable payment commitments, which bank only custodian banks can uh, actually, you know, open the I the IPC irrevocable payment commitments. And which additional clause must be added to the client agreement before a custodian bank issues IPC, they must have a uh, in a live uh, in alignable right over the received security. So clearing bank while dealing with the FII clients or the mutual fund clients, right? Uh, the clearing banks when they buy their shares, the maximum risk that they can take is 30%. 30% risk can be taken. This is an important RBA guideline. Please go through the RBA guideline. That's important. The risk exposure from the IPC is considered as a capital market exposure. That is a capital market exposure. And there is a limit of 30% uh, that RBI has put on it. Okay. RBI has set on 30% uh, limit on 30% uh, of the settlement amount for this exposure. That is the limit of risk that the clearing bank can take. What is the maximum intraday risk exposure allowed for capital market expo capital market exposure arising from issuing IPCs? So 30% of the settlement amount. So well framed question, but we are redoing it. Maximum intraday risk exposure allowed for capital market. This risk is considered as capital market exposure and 30% of the capital of the settlement amount is allowed here. Okay. And how can a client further reduce the risk exposure for the custodian bank when issuing a IPC by collecting the margin payments, right? By providing margin payments in form of cash, to wo risk nahi rahega, right? To alag se capital according to Basel norm nahi rakhna padega. Effective from 1st of July 2024, what is the minimum percentage of foreign currency? Uh, foreign currency notes that uh, AD category 2 FFMCs must sell to the public on a quarterly basis compared to what they purchase from the ADs, right? So what they were doing, uh, up money changers ke paas jate ho, AD category 2 dealers ke paas jate ho for purchasing the Canadian dollars or US dollars, black mein milte hai. If you want to sell your CADs, Canadian dollars, right now on Google, you'll find the rate is 60. 60 59 right if you go to the bank they will charge commissions they'll give you 57 58 but in the black market just go to the market you can get 63 64 rupees right why that is happening because these dealers are uh, actually they they do not sell it they do not want to sell it right so RBI said 75% of the notes that these dealers are getting from the, the, the dealers are buying from the, the AD category one banks, 75% must be sold on a quarterly basis. 75% beech nahi hi padenge, ikatha karke nahi rakh sakte. What is the purpose of Bima Central platform to aggregate and manage in, uh, the insurance portfolio? Bima Central similar to MF Central where uh, all the mutual fund portfolios are there. Bima Central is for the insurance, segregate and manage insurance portfolios. And what is the purpose of MOU signed between the FICCI and IESA uh, to promote innovation and support the semiconductor and electronic industry to strengthen the supply chain and foster the development of ecosystem in India with global impact? Easy question. Uh, what is the aim of MOU signed between the Agriculture Insurance Company of India and CSC e-governance services in India to provide the cattle insurance to expand the reach of cattle insurance product Sampoon Pashudhan Kavach is to expand in pure India. Mein lekar and what is the rank of India and in, uh, the World Economic Forum's Travel and Tourism Development Index? It is 39th. 39th is the rank. And which award did Power Grid received in 2024? It is ATT Best Award 2024 that the Power Grid got. Very important. What is the target of headline inflation? Headline inf inflation ka target hai RBI ka uh, 4% in the recent RBI State of Economy report. 4% is the target. And what is the purpose of Prava app launched by the RBI? to streamline application process for RBI reg uh, authorization licenses and uh, regulatory approval for the individuals and the companies, right? Uh, you can install this app. 
what percentage was a contingent risk buffer increased to for financial year 23-24 now it is 6.5 percent so what is the purpose of indian army's initiative with green hydrogen fuel cell bus so they are going to use it promote hydrogen and fuel cell technology for heavy duty e-mobility right which organizations are required to disclose their annual activities on social stock exchanges non-profit organizations registered on the social stock exchanges they need to submit uh, their annual activities with the social stock exchange what is the primary objective of the mou signed between mea ministry of external affairs meity CSE e governance so the goal is to facilitate e migrate services through CSEs for blue collar workers so ration card transfer karana voter card voting transfer karana for all that services e migrate services is there okay which was the highest ranked indian institution in the asia university ranking 2024 the indian institute of sciences bangalore right and what is the target group for the mahakrishi samriddhi yojana food and agro based industries and agri infrastructure projects including the startups what was the net income of rbi for the year 23 24 2.11 lakh crore that much is the net income of rbi so students ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course is available on bank exams com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes live sessions and in the and the interview preparation guidance all the links are available in the description please check the description this is my whatsapp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts right so list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer all your doubts and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye